you feel that you're somewhere on the end of the world. Het is een behoorlijke uithoek. Als je praat over zakkelen in een hoop mensen weten eigenlijk niet waar het ligt. Het is echt in het middel of nowhere. We are at the end of a, uh, the very far east of Russia, on a remote island. Here we've got a sea behind us, the Sea of Ahotsk, which six weeks ago was uh, floating ice bands on. Het slaat eigenlijk in, in het uh, gedeelte van dat we bakken lossen. Hier in een havertje wat eigenlijk gemaakt is uh, aan het strand. Daar lossen we dus modules die transporteren we 8 kilometer vanaf het havertje naar de OPF, de Onshore Production Facility. We have 36.000 tons of modules we split into two sea lifts last summer. In this summer. Still a little bit more to the right, Manuel. Still a little bit more to the right. Coming down Charlie Delta, Manuel. Coming down Charlie Delta. This is the 11th module of 12 we're bringing in in uh, the 2006 Sea Lift. We had big ones, we had small ones, we had some that were only maybe 10 tons, you know, and others that were 1,700 tons, and some are very short. We had some up to uh, 72 meters long. So uh, significant amount of work. eight to nine kilometers from uh, the offloading facility to here. They normally were doing that in a three hour period of time. That includes going across a bridge with very tight tolerances on the handrails. 
Maar die brug zelf, dat is eigenlijk de keypoint waar we zoveel asleiden hier nodig hebben. De modules wegen op zich niet zo heel erg gek zwaar, 1800 ton de maximale. Maar je moet het uitspreiden over een lange stuk om een bepaalde aslast te kunnen voldoen. Dus daarvoor gaan we hier ook met een, een driedubbele brede SPMT configuratie van 60 aslijnen lang. Clearances sometimes were down to uh, about 125 mm uh, going across the bridge. They were able to control that tolerance all the way across the bridge. Very nice. <laughs> Mammut's expertise and their equipment were key elements of our execution plan for construction of the onshore plant. As they have the largest number of these uh, SPMTs in the world, I believe. There's 356 axle lines of trailers here. And I think that's somewhere between a quarter to half of the world fleet. It's, it's a, quite a large number. That is also a very American aspect of this project. 356 aslijn SPMT. We hebben zoveel nodig eigenlijk om het werk allemaal gedaan te krijgen. We are unloading modules. We want to be able to transport modules. We want to set modules, and this gives us the flexibility to do all these operations in one time. Je hebt aan de ene kant heb je de uitdaging natuurlijk van het project op zich om de modules te transporteren. Maar daarnaast is gelijk uh, ja, de mobilisatie en de demobilisatie van je equipment en personeel zo extra, extra dimensie, extra uitdaging. Dat materiaal komt uit de hele wereld natuurlijk vandaan. Verschillende vestigingen van Mammoet hebben het materiaal geleverd voor dit project. Het is een heel fijn company. Ze brengen een heel project together. You know, they have the people, they have the equipment, they have the expertise. Mammut has uh, about a staff of 60 people here right now with management on site and uh, you know we deal with them day to day and uh, hand in hand to, to get the job done. We have supervisors from Europa and Canada and America uh, for the SPMT. We have operators, kranen and SPMT, vooral from Malaysia, Philippines and Singapore. Three and four, around two and three o'clock this afternoon. Three or four hours, and then we'll be... Daarnaast have we also uh, Russian stevedores. Daarnaast have we, of course, a sort of staff with uh, engineers, coordinators, planners, uh, safety people, also local here. Dus. We're here a very long time. We're working... Uh, some place up to 150 days and they've been able to bring in crews about every six weeks to replace each other, keep them fresh and all. Uh, there are very few companies in the world that are able to do that. I think probably they're the only one that can, can do that. Behind us is a module that's going to be positioned onto the piles. The ability of the Mammut trailers and the operators to be able to precisely set these modules to within a very few millimeters allows all the facilities here to be linked back together with the piping. 
So this allows the work to be done in a very efficient manner. You know, you can buy a lot of equipment. You can buy a lot of iron and all. You get all this stuff fabricated, but you need someone to operate these things, operate them effectively. And these are very complicated pieces of equipment and all. And they are very capable of doing that. Not many people can do that. Great staff, great staff. It's a good international bunch, but they're all committed, they're all professional. They are mammoth people. <laughs> Three words. <laughs>